charcoal flavor on a gas grill? Well, with the Sam's Club members, Mark Barbecue Island, yes you can. Today we're gonna be doing a rotisserie chicken and we're gonna be getting that griddle fired up and making some awesome burgers. Oh, I can't wait, let's get started. All right, to set up the grill, we are going to take out the flame deflector. We're gonna drop in the charcoal basket right here. This sits perfectly in here, and now this is where we're going to put the charcoal. I'm gonna be using HEB's Grand Champion charcoal. Burns clean, burns hot. Uh, very, very good charcoal to use. All right, now that we got the charcoal in here, I am going to turn the main burner on, and we are going to ignite that. That is so cool. I don't even need a chimney starter. I can just get this with the help of the propane. I can get these coals lit up. And the cool thing is once the charcoal's going, you can actually kill the propane because now you have the heat from the charcoal and we're gonna be putting some wood on top there. It's gonna be a wood fired flavored experience. It's gonna be so, so good. Mm. All right, let's prep this chicken. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is start patting this bird dry. Next, what I'm gonna do is take some duck fat, spray the chicken down. Now the duck fat is gonna really help crisp up the skin. Uh, if you don't have duck fat, you can use oil. As far as seasonings go, if you wanna keep it simple, salt and pepper can never go wrong with that mixture, just half salt, half pepper. I want some kick today, I, I want some I want some heat, not just temperature wise, but flavor wise. I'm gonna be using Suckle Buster's Bam Habanero Sweet Heat. Has a, it's a barbecue rub, has a really great sweet and an amazing heat to it. So if you're, if you like, if you're a fan of spice, definitely gonna give this a go. Just gonna coat this on top. And you want to make sure you're getting underneath the wing. Flip it around. Let's go to the other side. Ooh. And then lastly, I'm going to hit it up with Butcher's Barbecue Grill. This just adds a really nice flavor. Just going to pat that into the bird. Coat both sides. Now let's get her onto a spit. And without trying to poke myself, we are gonna come in through the other. And bloop, plop this right down. And these claws are gonna help hold the bird in place. And then we're gonna tie these legs together. Stick it onto the spit good. Now let's get this onto the grill. Beautiful. Now we are going to turn this on, make sure she is spinning. All right, now we're gonna light the rear rotisserie burner. So I'm going to hold it down and in for five seconds. We're gonna light it. And then you can let that go. And now the rear burner is on. It's gonna get, you know, it's gonna glow nice and hot. We're gonna turn these two burners on right now, probably to about medium high. Get some flame going from the bottom side. And now I'm gonna take some oak. I'm gonna put some oak wood on top of these coals. Now that's going to produce not only a charcoal flavor to it, but then also a wood smoke flavor as well. So we're gonna get those going. All right, let's close down the lid. Now let's get the griddle going. So I already coated the cast iron top and the cast iron grates. Basically put some oil down, heat it up, let that oil burn off, and it's now going to create a nice nonstick surface. So we're going to turn this on right now. And I'm probably gonna do about medium heat. This griddle top gets so, so hot. I mean, great for searing, but yeah, this thing puts out a ton of heat. So we're just gonna start off at medium right now. And then as this thing heats up, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put some oil down. Your spatula. First thing I wanna put down on a griddle is bake in this. To me, it's just how you properly break in 
a griddle with the first thing hitting it. Some good old bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Let's pull these off. Let's let them cool down. I now have some brioche buns that are buttered. I'm gonna lay these down, toast these up a little bit. With the bacon grease that's down here, the bread kind of soaks that up just a hair. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. All right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So now we're gonna pull these off. You know I'm a huge fan of brisket burgers, so we're just gonna set these down. Listen to that sizzle. That's probably, no joke, my favorite sound on a griddle. For seasoning, we're gonna keep it simple. Just put some salt. And we're gonna do some crushed pepper. And what I like about the griddle is all the juices that would normally on a grill fall and escape through the grates, the griddle surface basically just traps all that grease and it just stays in with the burger. So you're gonna, if you've never had a griddled burger before, it is, it is definitely a game changer. Let's give these a flip. Beautiful. And again, we are going to season this side. Half salt. And half pepper. All right, while those are doing, let's check on this. Woo! Look at the color on that. Beautiful. Man, that bird is looking good. All right, now I'm gonna scoot these in a little bit. And the reason why I'm doing that is one, I'm gonna be putting down some cheese. Now this is some thick Monterey and Colby Jack. And now we're gonna take this thing, and this is a griddle dome, and that is going to help melt our cheese. Oh, perfection. All right, let's get these boigas off. Whoop. So I'm just gonna be prepping my burger right now. I'm gonna let the family decide how they want theirs prepped. I found this spicy mayonnaise dressing. And I definitely, I'm a huge fan of the spice. Got my burger right here. Then you can't forget the bacon. Boom. Now, let me get my burger. <laughs> oh, I dripping with my goodness. Greasy goodness dripping. Boop. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, this chicken is done. I'm going to turn off all our borners. And now. Time to get some heavy duty gloves on. And these are a must. I can't tell you this rod is going to be screaming hot. So we're just gonna lift this off, get it out of there. And we're just gonna bring it over here, kill the motor right now. Now we're gonna let this bird rest probably about five, 10 minutes. Just let it cool down. All right. Cheers. Oh, I got this ice cream. That's good. <laughs> Normally on chicken, I have to inject it just because you want to get it nice and juicy. But what do you think? Juicy, right? Mm -hmm, really juicy. Very juicy. Not dry. All right, I got my youngest out here. Ready? What do you think? Yeah? So there you have it. 
awesome cook on the Sam's Club Members Mark Grill. Rotisserie came out so good. I can't ever go back the other way. Smash Burgers, you know where it's at. I will leave a link in the description so you can actually check out this grill. Awesome, awesome barbecue island for your backyard. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Grill Sergeant out. Cheers.